people that know uh, Assyria Thunder, our fellow brothers, the Germans, try to invade it every day. And they succeed doing that in great numbers. But actually very happy that they come and make the city alive, crowded, good for economy. And if you can see on the large square, the moon's frame, uh, a lot of parking is done. The radiation levels are quite low compared to many other areas. This is also one of the most busiest areas in Vendo. Right. In that direction you go to the Zweige Brüder, that's a very popular store for the Germans where they can buy their coffee and other stuff. Because that direction you go north. And overall the Nolus Plain Square still average reading. Still not compatible with health com according the Bionition 2012 chart. According any kind of chart of the World Health Organization, this is a walk in the park. It literally is. <laughs> but when you walk to what? This direction over there, that's the street where a large tower is, the one that is very radiating on low street level. You will notice as soon we reach that street over there, that you will see a spike. Only a 50 meter. Already going up a little bit. Because the radiation that is traveling from that direction towards the Martinez Church of Basilic. So let me prove that, that I'm not wrong. I'm not telling you guys. A fairy tale story. Here you can see. Bam. It's like the tower is uh, 150 meters away from this spot. High readings, high voltage that's traveling through the street towards city center. And it's actually very limited. Of course, it will bounce off to the buildings, but I only walk 10 to 20 meters this direction and you see a drop. So fellow citizens of Fenlo, my fellow bro big brothers, if you know the areas in the city where the radiation is very high, please make sure you discharge or just be aware of it. Maybe try to avoid going through that street every day. But the best thing to do is to discharge. Standing here in the north of uh, the city, gonna uh, take some measurements in this neighborhood. Uh, approximately, I think some 200 meters from here is a very large uh, OG tower. And we start our readings here. And we're closing in uh, on this tower. Ok, 
Okay, now we're going to start walking towards the tower. There's a very busy roundabout next to a store. Over there, uh, a few schools. And this is, I want you guys to uh, see this clearly, how radiation works. I was standing between these buildings, this one, this one, and they kind of, the radiation is kind of reflecting from that. See? Readings are pretty low compared to what we had minute ago and see if I would walk out of this line hold on so Now you will see the immense spike. You see? Go back just a few meters and radiation gone because the radiation is going that direction. It is on its best strength in large areas and the reflection between these buildings is course much lower so you're walking here even these readings are not compatible with health as you can see according to bio initiative 2012 and now we're gonna walk into this street this street will lead to the downtown city center I see immense bike readings for thousands of thousands of microwatts voltage already around 3 volts and we'll be closing in on the tower we are about yeah 200 meters from it this area is called the Straalseweg a lot of traffic going through from north to downtown I'll be signing in as soon as I'm at about 100 meters. We, we closed in on the tower for about 100 meters. I will show you the tower. It's over there. You can see it, sorry. Okay. Now I'll show you some readings. As you can see we're about 100 meters from the tower and we're already in a maximum spike of 6 volts. It's probably much higher. Microwatts per square meter is already a fluxion of thousands and into the 20,000. I will do some measurement, measurements on the other side of the tower and then we'll have a look 
if there's any kind of difference between this direction and the other one. Just a quick view, uh, only uh, not too long because I don't want to overcharge this device, but standing like 40 meters something. Look at these uh, readings. Continuing a max of 4 meter, we would have a device that would measure more falls. We definitely would have much higher readings. From the beginning point where we started to uh, film the readings 200 meters from this tower, at the roundabout, you've only been seeing red lights on the display. Guys, there's a different angle, very close to the tower. Uh, when you watch uh, the readings, uh, this tower is emitting a lot of uh, radiation, also on street level. Um, my personal think that this tower in Venlo uh, is maybe the worst radiating uh, radiation on street level is because it's yeah it's really placed low compared to other towers. This building is not so high and it's also placed very close to uh, uh, homes and neighborhoods like these homes over there they're just like 20 meters away from the tower man and so maybe uh, there's a lot of people that can remember um, I grew up in, uh, in the 90s I had my youth in the 90s and I can remember that uh, Large radio towers were emitting uh, right in the middle of uh, homes, neighborhoods, just very close at schools, and they were forced to reallocate these towers outside uh, city centers. And yeah, I'm still wondering why it's 2020, it's 30 years later, and uh, all these towers these cell towers are emerging uh, everywhere. Okay, people, we are now on the other side of uh, the tower. About, I think, 150 meters. Yeah, and you can see for yourself. Like the other direction, same high readings voltage going up to 6 volts microwatt changing in the thousands up to 20,000 spikes this is one of uh, the most busy areas of Venlo a lot of traffic coming by from the north up to downtown Across me on the left side, you have the Nolan's plane. On the weekend, it's very crowded here. Very high readings, 150 meters from the tower, 24/7. In Venlo. From the south side, we uh, closed in on the tower like, uh, say, 90 meters, I think.
this is Max for Permita. I need another device, guys. One that can uh, measure even more amounts of electromagnetic radiation, more volts per meter. This I'm really wondering. To uh, rate or level this this kind of radiation can be measured. Again, standing on the same spot, you can see the inflection. Radiation bounces off everywhere between these buildings. If I would step about 50 meters to the right, then you will see much less reading. So let's do that. See? That's the way it works. I'm standing between the buildings and you see the radiation dropping. Still high, but still too high according to the Bio Initiative 2012 chart. The ones I think should be implicated. Now we're going back. And here we go again. Immense spike. Bomb. That's a tower. It's really a huge one. Some transistor boxes next to it, I think. It's a lot of energy boosting here. And there's a lot of traffic coming here, a lot of people that bring in their kids to school on bicycle and stuff, people that go to work on a daily basis and they crossing this radiated area. So people in front of you watch this and think like, oh, what the heck? If you cross this area daily, make sure you discharge. You can discharge by grounding yourself to trees or street lights, stuff like that. Anything that's grounded in the ground from metal, metal stuff.